As only the late Anthony Bourdain can do, this is how he described today's dish. It's this lamb burger that hits me right in the pleasure zone. Great in any- And I could not agree more. It's aromatics with brown lamb that is perfectly spiced and enveloped in a warm, crisp roll. The best part, it's actually really easy to make at home, and the filling can be used in countless ways. You don't have to use lamb, any cut or even ground meat can be used. Provided you have some bread rolls ready beforehand, you can have one of these in your hands in about 15 minutes. This sandwich clocks in at 569 calories and 36 grams of protein. Hey everyone, so if you've never had Xi'an Famous Foods in New York City, you are in for a treat today. This spicy cumin lamb is one of their signature items that's used over noodles, in soups, or like we are doing today, in the lamb burger. And these recipes are based off of the cookbook they actually have, which I would highly recommend checking out. But anyway, let's cook this thing. To start, we're going to make their daily bread, which is an extremely simple bread though, that is cooked over stovetop and is used as the burger bun for the lamb. Now obviously you don't have to make these buns. Skip to the spicy cumin lamb part of the video if that's what you're after. For the daily bread, set a bowl over a scale and add 250 grams of flour, five grams of salt, three grams of yeast, about a gram of baking powder, a gram of sugar, and 125 grams of water. This is a 50% hydration dough, so it'll be fairly dense and stiff as we work it. Knead the dough in the bowl for about five minutes until it becomes cohesive. Once the dough has been formed, cover the bowl with plastic wrap and let rest on the counter for 30 minutes during which the dough will relax. After resting, the dough should feel more supple and smooth. Knead the dough for another two minutes in the bowl and then just kind of lay it out into a circular shape and let it rest for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, cut this into four equal pieces, which is what will be used for the individual burger buns. Place the cut pieces of dough on the counter and lightly grip it with your hand and slowly just kind of roll and tighten the ball into forming a round mound. Once done for each piece, flatten it with your hand, and then using a ruling pin, roll the dough into roughly a four to five inch diameter circle, repeating this process for each piece. With the bread rolled, let's cook. Set a skillet over medium heat and let it preheat for three minutes. For reference, this surface temp is around 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Turn the heat to low and place a piece of dough right in the pan and cover it with a lid or a bowl and let the bread cook for about one minute per side until there is some brown spots on both sides. Flip and cook each side for one minute more to ensure the bread is fully cooked through. If you notice any off color or gray spots, that is still raw dough and it needs to be cooked longer. In practice, these breads took about five to six minutes to reach above 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is when I pulled them off. Once off the pan, the exterior should be browned and lightly crisp, and when ripped up, it should be nicely steamed inside. These are quite dense, almost like an English muffin that wasn't proofed, and they make a great bun for whatever you add them to. With the buns done, let's learn how to make the spicy cumin lamb filling. To start, get out the lamb. I'm using some lamb shoulder chops I found at the store and removing the bones and then chopping this into fairly thin pieces, about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters thick. Now, Xi'an Famous Food normally uses boneless leg of lamb, but really use whatever you have. You could do this with sliced pork shoulder or beef stew meat and something with some nice fat and marbling or just mix everything with ground meat. Let the meat be the canvas with which you paint the spices and cooking technique here. 
After the lamb is sliced, place it into a bowl and add eight grams of salt along with 20 grams of cornstarch. And the cornstarch is going to help us achieve browning when we actually go to stir fry this. Set the lamb aside and let's gather the aromatics and spices. First, slice one scallion, then a half of a red onion, and one Thai chili pepper. Sean Famous Food actually uses a longhorn pepper, but I couldn't find any at my local Asian grocery store. Next, grate two garlic cloves and one knob of ginger, which will round out the aromatics. For our spices, the signature spice is ground cumin, and I'll be using two tablespoons or roughly 12 grams of seeds that are freshly ground in the mortar and pestle. Then lastly to that, I'll be using a tablespoon of Thai dry red chili powder, which I picked up from my Asian grocery store, but cayenne pepper could be used in a pinch if you want to. Finally, I'll be using a pinch of MSG to round out the dish. Let's cook this. Set a wok over high heat and add 30 grams of neutral oil. Once it's shimmering just below smoking, add the scallion, ginger, and garlic, stir frying for just about 20 seconds until fragrant, being careful not to burn them. Next, add the lamb and stir fry until the pieces have developed some nice browning on the exterior. This should take between five to seven minutes. Once you have some beautifully browned up lamb pieces, turn the heat down to low and toss in the ground cumin with the Chinese chili powder and then give that a stir and then follow that quickly with the onions and sliced pepper and cook for about another minute or so before turning off the heat. Give the dish a sprinkle of MSG to mix in which will bump up the umami flavor and it also helps round out the heat of the dish if it's a bit too spicy. Now before I just sit and eat this whole plate of the stuff, let's make the burger. Slice the daily bread leaving a hinge at the end and then fill it up with as much spicy cumin lamb as you want. I use just under four ounces. Place the burger on the hot griddle to toast it up just a bit on both sides to kind of reawaken that bread. Then for me, I decided to add some fresh cilantro and a few pickled onions. Not used at Jean Famous Foods, but surely a delicious addition. Let us consume. Got the Topo Chico on lock. Topo, if you're watching this, let's, let's do something together, that'd be sweet. But anyway, let's dive into this thing. I've, so this bread, it doesn't seem like much. This is the first thing I wanted to talk about. Um, but it's very addicting texture wise. It's chewy, a little bit of crunchy on the exterior. Um, when I was making these, I, I kind of just ate a couple plain. It, it, and honestly, these don't seem like they'd be that good. Like the bread, it seems really like, I don't know, kind of plain and basic, but there's a very addicting texture or quality to it. Anyway, let's dive in. As you guys can see, I absolutely love these things. It's like the perfect amount of spice. It's, it warms your mouth, but it's not overbearing at all. It's, it's that level of spice where you want to keep coming back for more. And then, I mean, this thing punches hard with the cumin very up front. And then the lamb is really nice, um, tender, but like a little bit chewy. It, it's just the, it's just such a good combination in like this bread bun. Um, like I said, I added some pickled onions and cilantro. They typically don't do, I don't know if they actually add anything. They might just literally throw the meat in the daily bread. Um, but have some fun with this recipe. Um, like I said, Anthony Bourdain, you know, love this dish. They mention it in their cookbook. Um, it's such a good way to make some meat. Like you don't have to use lamb. You could do pork. You could do this with cut up beef. You could do it with ground meat. I actually recipe tested kind of the basic flavor profile with some ground meat and it was very, very good. Um, you could do it loose or you could actually make it into patties, however you want to do it. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Definitely drop me a like and subscribe. And actually, I only made this video so I could have some leftover filling 
because we're gonna be doing some Biang Biang noodles in the next video. So subscribe so you guys can get that video when it drops. I will catch you all in the next one. Recipe up on my website. Peace.